Yo, what's going on guys? Doc, with a fresh new video in yes. the studio. We are back talking about Leafs news and the Leafs. Kyle Dubas has made yet another signing which seemed like was never going to happen because there was literally nothing happening. I can't believe that this is Leafs season now. Two weeks away. Two which weeks. by the time you see this video it might be probably around uh, just under just over one week. Uh, till preseason, and we're going to be getting back into the FLRs. We're going to be getting back into our gaming videos. We can't we get back, we can't wait to get back into the yes. to the hockey season. I'm so excited for this year's season. So let's talk about the Zach Aston resigning and the, what the Leafs lineup can look like heading into preseason. Here we go. So. As you guys may know, Zach Aston Reese signed a PTO, professional tryout, yes. with, with the Toronto Maple Leafs. And I believe this could end in the contract for him at the end of this PTO. Because he is, he's one hell of a he one hell of a playing defense. He's one hell of a defense. He's making 1.7 with Pittsburgh uh, just this past season. And in 52 games, he had two goals, nine assists, 11 points. Went to Anaheim, played 17 games, three goals, one assist, and four points. The previous season, 2021 season, 45 games, he scored nine goals, six assists, 15 points. So he's not a forward scoring player. But according to the the charts and whatever I see on Twitter, his defense rating error is it's a 99. Dude. 99%. What the hell? He's on par with, uh, what was it, Patrice Bergeron or something with defense? Probably. Yeah, it, it, like, he's a really good defenseman. Uh, not a star defenseman, but, like, because he's not a defenseman. He's a forward. So he's going to be a I don't crazy think, I don't forward. Think they will be the using him as a left winger. They will be using him as, like, a f oh, you got to score some goals. No. Probably on the fourth line, maybe the third. But... He'll probably be paired with his Nick Abe Kubel. Yes, it'll probably be uh, Knack on the right wing, uh, Zar on the left wing, and then who else in center? You can have Gaudet in center, you can have Simmons, uh, someone, the, none of those play center, which is a little bit uh, confusing, but I'm sure they'll get it sorted out. And then we thought we would see Engvall, Kampf, Yarnkroll on the third line, which is a good shutdown line as well. Uh -huh. The third line, was Kerr for Tavares Nylander, but I'm sorry, that line... But this is a do-or-die season for the Toronto Bay Blaze. Yes. This is in or you're out. Go this is home. where Kyle Dubas, Brendan He's Shanahan, in the hot seat. In the hot seat. Sheldon oh. Keefe is in the hot seat right now. They're, they're flames. I'm telling you, it's it, this is, needs to end in a second-round victory. Like overachieving into the Stanley Cup Finals, lifting up the Stanley Cup itself. I honestly this, think that Kyle Dubas, a lot of people are like, oh, Kyle Dubas is doing a terrible job in the offseason. No. I disagree. He's done his job. He fixed the problems. There's still some problems lying, obviously, with the Sandy negotiations and Hall still being a liar. Let him sit. Uh, let him sit. Let, yeah, let that's, that's the Sandin sit. You don't get to play no hockey. You don't get to showcase what you're made of. You get to sit on the bench, be the bench warmer. Anyway, I think he can't take more than 1.5 or 1.6 million. I think 2 million, north of 2 million is overpaid. He can't, he can't. And that's probably what he wants. And, but sorry, Dubas, you're doing the right thing here. Don't give him 2 million. It's not worth I it. I just can't. But we're over the cap. We are over the cap. 1.5. And if we want Czar, <laughs> it's gonna go up even more. Probably another, like they say, 800k or something. So, it's but like someone's gotta go. Someone's gotta go now. Is it gonna? You could trade Kerfoot and Hall, bring Robertson up to the second line. So then you have Bunty, Matthews, Marner, Robertson, Tavares, Nylander, Engel, Camp, Yarkro, uh, uh, Nack, I guess Simmons and Czar. I don't know how that line's gonna work because none of them play center. They're gonna have to switch roles or whatever. And then on defense, Riley, uh, Brody, I guess. Uh, what else? Jordano Lilligren on the third pair, and then Muzzin Hall. 
Yeah. Ew, that's uh, disgusting. Oh no, that Perry. Oh no, Buzz and Hall? Are you kidding me? I, I can't go with another season of Buzz and Hall. Please, no. Riley? Oh, Labushkin would have fit so well. Labushkin, I miss you, buddy. Oh damn, it would have been Listen. Riley, Labushkin, Muzzin, Brody, Giordano, Lilligren. It Cut out Hall it completely. Should, it should be Riley, Brody, Muzzin, Sandine, Giordano, Lilligren. That's perfect. But for some reason, somewhere, Hall is still on this chart, on this lineup, and I don't get why. I think he's going to be out the door with his $2 million and free agent next year. But it's coming close to the contracts of who? Austin Matthews, and who else? William Nylander. Yes. And guess what, buddy? They're gonna want a big pay raise, dude. <laughs> so we're gonna need to do whatever in our power. Even Bunting. Bunting's making 950k. Do you think he's worth market value? No. No, he's gonna five million, please. He's scoring. What did he score? Twenty eight cents or whatever like gold. He can easily make five million on this market. Kerfoot's making three point five and only scores ten goals, fifteen goals. We got some money to make five million. million. Bucks, but I don't know. Matthews is gonna want thirteen plus million. Nylander can easily fetch eight or nine million. Um, like. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's getting close to their contracts, and you want to impress them before the contract negotiations get over. Because if you don't make it past the first round, they're not going to want to resign. They're going to go somewhere else and get heavily overpaid. What will be nightmare if Austin Matthews joins the Arizona Coyotes? No. That will be a nightmare scenario. It ain't happening. He's not going to do that poverty franchise with a 5,000 seat capacity arena. No. It's, it could happen, ladies and gentlemen. He could be close to home. He is close to home. He lives. His parents live in Arizona. But spoiler alert: I don't think that's gonna happen. I think I think Kyle Dubis is gonna get something done before really the next season. So. I really hope. Before so. the 2023 or 2024, they're probably gonna knock on wood. If we go anywhere past the first round, Matthews will feel some kind of like we actually did something for once. Let's. Let's run it back and do it again if worst case scenario doesn't happen, which I don't even want to get into that. No, I'm not let's, gonna get let's, into that. let's hope, let's hope. Let's hope for the best. Let's hope for the best. Cal Lewis had to address the fourth line, he had to address the goaltending, and he had to clear up some areas in the defense. Now I think the defense is still unsolved. The fourth line is pretty well solved now with this final signing of Zach Aston Reese. Well, a professional trial, he still has to be signed. But you got two great shutdown lines. They're not for scoring, but they're heavily on defense, and they can do a great job shutting down players. And then, obviously, when you need scoring, you bring out your big guns. You bring out your top four. Matthews, Tavares, Marner, and Nylander. What else? And yeah. then and then goaltending, I honestly think Murray and Samsonov are going to prove every, I'll prove all the haters wrong, and it's going to be a great man. tandem. I'm, I don't I'm know. I, I really, I'm really hopeful. If he can stay healthy, he can do good. He, you, they were looking at stats. Ottawa's goaltending was at the beginning was good. Then it fell off. But I, that's because he started getting injured. It's not because let's look fault. at this. Let's look at this from this standpoint. Let's say, for example, Matt Murray goes down with an injury, and I hope not. I hope no. not this season. But let's say, for example, he goes down with an injury. Ilya Samsonov and who? Joseph Wall, Eric Shelgren. Uh, Eric Shelgren, and then let's say Ilya Samsonov goes down in an injury. I don't even want to get into that, man. <gasps> the goaltending tandem is far from certain at this point. It's so like foggy, I can't even say. I am just hoping to God Murray has a comeback season and professionally just like blows the roof off of this place and finds a way to beat Matt Murray from the Pittsburgh Penguin in the 2016-2017 season, 2015-2016 season, please, Matt Murray become the two-time defending Stanley Cup champion with the Pittsburgh Penguin, please come back to us. Let's get you that third ring, please, and let's get, <laughs> um, are any of these players cup winners? Uh, no. Not exactly. Uh, Kyle Clifford. Clifford. Yeah, did uh, Simmons win a cup? No. And did Tavares win a cup? No. No, he never won. 
And I don't think, or Muzzin's, Muzzin's a cup winner with Elk. Zach asked, uh, what is it, what is it, what is it? Did Muzzin win? I think I made Kubel win a Stanley Cup. Or yes. So literally, 95% of our roster is non-cup winners. So like, really? Just, just get, get, get the job done. Does Jordan want a cup winner? No, no. See, he hasn't even gotten the cup. He wants a cup, and he's taking that pay cut just so we can get as much players as we can in here. I can't the believe they got this signed to eight hundred thousand dollars. That, that that's a big offer. That was a shocker. Of, I think they said of every team this season, the least were the most team that got the most market value. So they signed the most players for the least amount of money. Yarn Crow could have signed for more. Uh, Knack could have signed for more. Uh, Sam Zonov could have signed for more. Jordano could have signed for more. So many people could have signed for more. But, but I can tell you this much. This season is a cup or bust. This season is what it comes down to. This core four may not be there anymore. No pun intended. But anyway, this core four may not be here next year. And Kyle Lubis may as well be out the door. He's trying his best. I but he's trying his best to stay as the general manager it has to be Toronto Maple Leafs. And also, Pat Kane involved in these trades. No, players. no, 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 no. He's not coming here to Toronto. Save the rumors. Mm -hmm. He's not coming here to Toronto. There's no substantial evidence that will give us no. that. Because he has a no movement clause. He controls his fate. I don't believe he will the, come to Toronto. Uh, Chicago's GM can't do anything unless he approves of it. And, I mean, he like he's making 10.5. Easily, Chicago has to retain half that contract. His Most of his contracts have been paid out, but they want a roster player, a prospect, a draft pick. They want all kinds of futures, and that's that's not sitting well with Dubis right now. I can maybe by they. It looks what looks like it's gonna happen is they're gonna wait it out till trade deadline. Who knows? Maybe it could be a three-team deal at trade deadline. Kane comes to Toronto, but no. we don't lose as much draft or prospect. No, he's not season. coming here to Toronto. Yeah, save the rumors. He's not coming in near to Toronto. I bet you that much. I don't even think Patty Kane wants to come to Toronto. Well, you, we haven't won a Stanley Cup since 1967. He wants to play with me. And we haven't even won a series since 2004. Who wants to come here? Who? I think it's because Kane wants to play with Matthews. Because I remember they were saying how he was disappointed when they canceled the All Stars and he couldn't play with Matthews or something like that. He wants to play with Matthews. And he could very well be on a line with Bunting, Matthews, Kane, uh, Neil Andrew Tavares, Marner. I don't know. It's, it's not going to happen. Here. It's not going to happen. Save the rumors. And that is it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Yes. I really do appreciate it. We are two weeks away from the uh, season. season and Pre -season. probably one season away, one week away for you. We're going to be resuming our gaming videos next week, our FLRs. Everything's coming back. We can't wait for hockey season. We're so excited. And stick along with us for one wild ride. And tell all your friends, go Leafs. Go. Yeah. Peace. Peace.